let us see the things that we can do once we get an offense and, and do some automation with the fact that we get an offense. So let's pick up any offense, for example, this first one here. And what we need to do is see the, you know, the automation happens on the rule that actually fire on the actual offense. So in here we have this particular uh, rule, exploit followed by firewall accept. If we double click on it, we launch the rules editor, very intuitive. We have spoken about this first time, th this first uh, pane, and you, you define the, the things that set uh, the actual uh, uh, offense. After you've done that, on the second page, we, we haven't spent much time on it, there's plenty of things you can do. For example, you in here is where you define where uh, what type of uh, uh, severity, credibility, and relevance you give to this particular offense, and you can actually modify that and, and set it in here. Uh, you can make this part, ensure that this becomes part of an offense. Uh, and you can say that that offense is uh, 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 based on uh, source IP, destination IP, whatever is it that, that is appropriate, on a username. Sometimes it's very important. When you click on annotate, here you put some text that can help you, you know, understand when somebody's looking at the offense, it can see what, what's actually been done in there. Uh, it helps understanding. So I'm not annotating anything. Uh, you can uh, include, uh, it's very intuitive, include detected events by source IP from this point forward in the offense for X number of seconds. Uh, we can annotate the, uh, the, the actual uh, event. We can drop the event if we want to. And we can also automatically generate out of this offense yet another event. And we can specify the name that we give it, the description, again, the severity. This is not, again, for the offense. This is for the event that we trigger as a consequence of the event. A uh, few things, I'm going quickly here. Uh, you know, Let's go into, into the actual automation itself. And here are the, the, the main actions that you can actually do. One is you can send an email uh, to somebody to notify that this uh, event actually happened. You can send to the local syslog. And by the way, uh, you can have something like, for example, TDI. A directory integrator, which allows you to, uh, you know, from the actual uh, syslog event, trigger some additional action. Yeah, you can say, well, if this particular offense happens, I want to trigger a particular syslog that is going to get my identity management to suspend the user. We can easily do that. Uh, you can forward the actual offense, and you can specify w to which host you actually want to forward that. You get uh, notifications. You can add. Uh, this particular offense or elements of the offense, uh, the username, etc., uh, to a particular uh, uh, reference set. And this is, for example, useful. Let's say that you get some users that are uh, going into site they are not supposed to. Uh, you are not blocking that. You can use detecting that they are going to, and they can receive an email and be warned that not to do that. And then, but in order to watch if they uh, keep on doing it, you can create a reference set kind of saying uh, second time offenders, for example. And then, you know, uh, you can you can actually uh, use that reference set in order to monitor those individuals that, that actually do that for the second time. I mean, you, the, the possibilities are really endless. And you can add it to a reference set as well as a reference data. If you want to use a map for a more sophisticated uh, data structure. The other one that you can do is uh, you can actually uh, trigger a scan. And this is particularly useful. And here you select the, the profile for the scan. When you get like a new, let's say that you put a rule that says whenever a new server, a new DNS server, new mail server, database, whatever, uh, a, a device that I don't know. This is just an example. Uh, I, wanna, I want an offense to be triggered. And the first thing that I want to do when that happens, when a new device comes in, actually I want to do a scan of it. Because sometimes these new devices that are added without telling the rest of the organization are sources of exploitation. And more so if that thing is full of vulnerabilities. You, you can actually uh, trigger a scan to see how vulnerable uh, that, that, that event is. So again, some of the things that, are, that you can actually do uh, automatically once you get an offense.